How's it going everybody? Nutmegabiz356 here, and welcome to Mallory and the Marble Sanctum. Now, I've been waiting to play this for a while. It's been on my list, and it looks absolutely beautiful. The graphics look amazing, and so far the sound is amazing, and the music. So, I'm hoping this is going to be a really good one. So, here we go. This is not my bed. Come to think of it, this doesn't look like my room either. Where am I? Ah! Ow! Sounds about right. Oh, look at that marble. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, this looks so cool. Yet strangely familiar. I missed the first part of that. My bad. Oh, look at the lighting on this. This place looks very important. It's probably the pillars. Pillars usually mean importance. Fancy pillars make everything look important. See? What I tell ya. Can I step on that to say anything? No. I'm stuck. Oops. There we go. Where do I go? This looks like a button. But it's not doing anything. Where do I go? Do I go back the way I came? Maybe? Oh, it's falling as I go. Oh, I love this. Ooh. Oh, these are new. It sure as Starlight wasn't a distress signal. Space Marshal's eyebrows assumed a tactical formation reserved for only the most desperate of dire situations. Arid landscape around the two travelers rang with deafening silence. Things were starting to look pretty grim. What's your prognosis, ma'am? An ambush? Warp wolves? Pyrotoids? Chief Officer's mind reeled with disastrous possibilities, one worse than the other. The Space Marshal squinted in the heavy yellow fog ahead, scanning what few landmarks loomed on the treacherously tenebrous horizon. The Chief Officer knew what she decided to do next, and his already tired legs started shaking at the prospect of another arduous hike. We'll leave the robodactyls behind the ridge. Too much noise. Oh, there's more. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Cool. Do I need to read all of these? What? Hmm. Ah, a book. Stanislav Slavetsky, Prisoners of Sphere Khan, and Other Stories. Pellegrino Publishing House. Nothing on the back. Alright. Some of the pages are torn out. I think I've already read this one, but it still pains me to see a paperback in such bad condition. I feel ya. Poor book. Oh, there's another. This is probably the coolest looking game I've seen yet. One way hole leading who knows where. Hmm. I'd rather look for other exits first. Fair enough. I feel the same way. Let's not go where we don't have to.
A staircase. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, shit. God, this is so cool. Ring, ring, ring. Where's Jack's empty? I need mean, him. Ring, ring, ring. Top of morning. Where are, off, where are we off to? Oh, that was just Okay. More pages. Oh, man. <clears throat> Incredible. These rooms, they're unlike anything he's ever tasted before. Tasted? Cliffy was pensively wagging his right tail, looking as puzzled as a creature covered head to toe in rigid chin. Could it possibly be? The space marshal picked up a sticky piece of debris from the ground and inspected it with palpable disappointment. What's the point? The data is long lost. She was standing with her back to the chief officer, but he could still hear the sound of her steel gloves digging into malleable paraffin. I can't make any sense of this, resumed the second in command. What civilization would use something so unsustainable for record keeping? A primitive one, growled Marshall before, scornfully discarding the broken tablet into the closest pile of what used to be the main hallway of the great Sterulian archives. You've been here before. Have I? I think I recall if I had. Alright then. Oh. Do you know if yes, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? <gasps> oh, shit. I should have seen that coming. Oops. Oh, I hate that. That's the only thing I don't like. It's hard to see where you're jumping. I take it that's pretty hot. God damn it. Get off of there. Son of a bitch. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's move over to here. This side seems pretty safe. Nope, stop. God damn it. Oh.
Where does this go? Does this go somewhere? Oh, no. Not somewhere I want to go. Oh, I see. I'm dumb. I have to jump here. That makes much more sense. Okay, good to know. I just won't get those pages, I guess. Oof, these tiny legs weren't made for jumping. Uh, sure. Where are we going? Where are we going? There we go. Oh, I see a glowy thing ahead. What dost thou see? I wonder what it does. It's raining. But I too want to know that. Interesting. Good sir, I'm delighted to inform you of the most wonderful news. You see, I've been working day, night, and everything in between, and have improved, nay, perfected, the rules to one of our favorite tabletop activities. Now, you might remember it as Cheeky Checkers, but after several important revisions, it has evolved into a perilous and sophisticated game of Chaos Chess. I'm about to die so many times, aren't I? This brand new formula of entertainment is as fun as it is highly unstable. I'm afraid we'll have to start playing right away. Oh, uh, that actually sounds really cool. But can we, uh, can I take a rain check on this? I've got to get going, like, right now. But you just got back. The hospital's been calling again. They say it's something actually urgent this time around. Oh no, is everything okay? Yeah, but she's being stubborn about her medication again, and they need my signature to, uh... You know what? Don't worry about any of that, okay? I'll get back tomorrow morning and we'll have a go at crazy chess. Chaos chess! Yeah, that. What should I do until then? Huh? Well, uh, I don't know. What do you usually do? Wait for you to get back. Watch a movie? Play a video game? Read a book? Sorry, gotta run. See ya. Bye. Hope you don't get stuck in traffic. I'll be waiting right here. Interesting. I hope they got to play it, whoever they are. Chaos Chess does sound kind of amazing. Does it? Does it really? Sounds like it could get bad real quick. Another bell. Ring, ring, ring. Bring to me. Ooh. Let's go. Hmm. Excuse me. Where does this side lead? These structures look like houses, but it's hard to say for sure. Does someone live here? Who would want to stay in a place like this? It feels so lonely and sad. You can get used to anything, I guess. Well, maybe. Where are we going? Whose house are we invading? Oh! What the hell? That's so cool. I thought I was alone in here. Are we not alone? Remember where you are. I don't even know where I'm at. Life form C96 aren't bioreplicants. They hunt by using temporal shifts, said eight space marshals in frightening unison. Listen for a delay. Focus on the sound of my voice and a shot, then another. Seven cons consequent shots executed with surgical precision. Seven identical cosmonauts collapsed to the ground. Impressive complimented the remaining marshal. Last time I saw you at the firing range, you could barely score double digits. 
The chief officer pointed his overheated ray gun at the survivor. How do, do I know you're not one of them? It appears that C-96 kept their form on termination. So, so I suppose that you don't. The creature closely resembling a space marshal carefully stepped over her replicas, calmly walked up to the trembling gunner and patted him on the shoulder as she walked past. Ooh. Interesting. Remember where you are. It would have been easier if you could just tell me where I am, oh mysterious pin pal of mine. True that. That would be a wonder. That's not where I want to. Wasn't I just here? Yeah, yeah you were. Let's go up this time. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Back. Back. Ooh. I didn't go to this door last time. Ooh. God, this is so cool. <gasps> There's another one. They look just like me. Weird. Just a little bit weird. Oh, wait, go back. And then we'll go up the stairs. Ooh, maybe not. <gasps> Interesting. I love this. you. Oh my god, I can't believe it's really, really you. It's been ages. Aw, we used to have so much fun together, didn't we? So many wonderful memories. Well, most of them are anyway. And it's not like you could have done anything about the rest. So, god, look at this place. What a mess. How can you live like this? I'm half tempted to drop on the floor and make a snow angel in all of this dust. Except that would technically make it a dust angel, I suppose. Being kind of quiet there, buddy. That's not like you at all from what I can vaguely recall. Come on, aren't you at least a little bit happy to see an old friend? You, you do remember me, right? Ooh. What was that all about? Good question. I have no idea. Perhaps we shall find out. Eventually. This is a demo after all. So we may not. Alright then, back up the stairs we go. And back to bed. Okay, so... Yes, we go this way then. And down into the hole. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out. Whole time. Oof. Fair enough. Oh man, it's one of these. Uh, oop. Oh no. Nope. Should have known I couldn't make that. This section of the maze is particularly topsy-turvy for some reason. What have we got? The heat box whirred and the cave gradually began to fill with cool, wavering glow. The atmosphere reminded the chief officer of his early days at the Union Academy and long expeditions to distant moons of Nemesine. He breathed a sentimental sigh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Interrupted Space Marshal. Oh, uh, doubt it, ma'am. The Chief Officer attempted a smile. I'm guessing you've had a breakthrough. He wasn't wrong. 
The marshal went silent for a few seconds as if hesitant to deliver the bad news. The velocity readings on arrival, the ion geysers, the way the atmosphere blocks our signal, the horizon distortion, it all adds up. To what? stammered the chief officer. This thing we landed on, it's not a planet. Space Marshal began drawing on the sandy floor of the cave, a semicircle, a diagonal, and then another to close the shape at the beginning. It's a vessel. Ooh, what kind of vessel? Oh, more of this. Why am I like this? for a change. Um, don't tell me I have to do... So close, yet so far away. Yes, but how do I get over there? Don't tell me I have to go back. Why did it do that? Oh! That's... different. Wait, this wasn't here earlier. You are correct on that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, um... Wait, I need to... Try that one more time. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. Am I even supposed to be here? Probably not. To be honest, oh no, this one looks way harder. We'll find out. Oh, you were joking. Okay, that goes there. Maybe not as hard as I thought it would be. Uh, what? 
maybe? No. That is incorrect. Hmm. simpler than I was making it out to be. Ring, ring, ring. Ooh. Can I make this jump? Yes, I sure can. A new one. What's the story this time? Hi, haven't seen you in a while. Hey, sorry, kind of a busy week. Well, not busy, more like, I don't know, soul crushing? Sounds about right. Yikes, what happened? Taylor has us all, uh, has a Taylor has set us all up again. There we go, maybe I can English. Oh no. Yeah. Last Tuesday we got worried on what we're supposed to get done before April. And those numbers are just completely unreasonable, right? A random set of digits made up by other management to make us all feel miserable. Our friend Taylor, however, must have looked at the chart and went, Hmm, cramming seven weeks of work into four? No problem. I tried to be more confrontational this time, I swear. But it's Taylor, you know? They're one of those kinds of people. Handsome, charismatic, nodding along to everything you say. But then you leave the room, and poof. It's as if your conversation had never happened. Because they proceed to do the exact same stupid thing you begged them not to. This Taylor character sounds awful. You have no idea. And the worst thing is... Oh lord. If we fail, our team will get put on blast for being unreliable and inexperienced. What a bitch. How rude of Taylor, which is just office talk for lazy, and don't forget how expendable you are. But if we pull it off, we'll most likely be expected to perform this miracle every month. God, your job sounds like a nightmare. All without a pay raise, obviously. So we lose whatever we do. Or not do, for that matter. Ugh, I'm so tired. I need a nap. A 35 year long nap. Fast track my life straight into retirement. That's the dream, isn't it? Or death. Give or take, whichever. Whichever of the two is closer, really. Aw, oh, don't say that. You're the smartest person I've met. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. The work thing. Not the sleep your life away thing. Heh, <laughs> thanks. It's nice knowing someone believes in you. Sorry, I talk about my job all the time. I know I shouldn't vent to you about this stuff. Why is that? We've known each other since forever. I can't be the worst gal you speak your mind to. That's true, but it certainly feels like we've been living two very different lives recently, doesn't it? What makes you say that? Well, mine is filled with anxiety and power bills and coffee that tastes like mold. Meanwhile, you're living yours as if it's all just one big summer break. Man, that would be great if I could do that. Hanging out, doing whatever, not a care in the world. I don't want you to take this the wrong way or anything. But a lot of the time, it doesn't really feel like you get it, you know? 
I can see that you're trying. You're a great listener. A good friend, too. It's just that sometimes I need someone who's a little bit more... Well... A little bit more... Real? What? Excuse me. to go oh this is there's no way out of here excuse oh there he is okay cool but I guess maybe oh no Matrix is after us. Often that she referred to the chief officer by something other than chief officer. Now that you mention it, ma'am, there is this one thing, replied Sokolov. I'm ashamed to admit it, but in all of our years serving on Ingles 5, he paused, interrupted by another loud blare of the onboard alarm. I don't believe I caught your last name. I don't believe I disclosed it, said the space marshal. Visibly relieved that her subordinate's request would be so easy to fulfill, it's Marshall, Ezra Marshall, 
Nice to finally make your acquaintance, old friend. Your last name is M Marshall? Sokolov's eyes widened in disbelief. You're Marshall Marshall, ma'am? The corners of his mouth crept upwards. Laughing consumes a lot of oxygen, Chief Officer, sighed Ezra. We still might need it. Interesting. Dying on a spacecraft, perhaps? Oh no. What is this? Okay. Wait. That oh, cool. Okay. I see, I see, I see. That's nice. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, hello? Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> it's Bill Cipher. Mallory. Mallory, wake up. Oh, what a dream. Thank goodness. Good morning, Mallory. Look at the cat thing. Oh, good, good morning to you too, cat. You tossed and turned all night. Another nightmare, I presume? Yeah. One more trip to the Marble Sanctum? Yep. A place that's like a dream, but not your own? Uh-huh. Of stone pillars and endless void and strange voices talking to each other from beyond an invisible veil? That's the one. Good grief. When are you ever going to get a good night's sleep again? Wait, are we living in a cardboard box? Hmm. I can sense how much of this is weighing on you. It doesn't seem like there's anything left we could try. Have you discovered the writings you've made during your self-aware visit? Oh, I did. They weren't terribly helpful, though. I don't think I'm very good at lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming sounds much nicer than lucid. See, I'm so bad at it, I can't even spell it properly. Hmm. A dream stable enough to leave mementos to future self. Can't say I've heard of such a thing before. Most intriguing. Well, we'll have to do another experiment. If you're willing, that is. Sure thing, cat. So, Mallory, could this be the day you finally abandon the comfort of your cardboard box? You ask me this every day. Your nightmares show no sign of receding, so the question hardly loses relevance. You'll have to leave this place eventually. But why? Because such is the nature of a story, is it not? Once the troubling vision arises, a hero must heed the call of adventure and travel to distant lands in search of the ultimate truth. I'm hardly the hero type. I'm Mallory. I sit at home and I read books and I'm happy living just the way I am. My life is not a story. It is what all of our lives are, when all is said and done. Aha, so it will still be a story if I choose to stay here forever? Fair enough. True, albeit a very boring one. I don't think most people would enjoy it. Cat, it's not safe outside. How could you possibly want me to go somewhere so dangerous? You've lost an eye out there. I did, but I have also witnessed many wondrous things that are well worth losing an eye for. Do we go outside? It's not like I can leave anyway. We've lost the key to the front door ages ago. I truly welcome your interest in leaving the house, but do we really have to do this? Do what? Doors open with keys. Can't open a door without one. All right then. Indeed you can't, my good roommate. 
But where could the blasted thing possibly be? Oh, woe. Woe is me, for I am trapped inside my ownith abode. Too much. Hmm. Come on, you green little babies. Mallory can't wait to meet you and shake your cute leafy hands. Plants need sunlight, Mallory. And they're not the only ones. Oh, shush. All they need is soil, water, and a little bit of tender, loving care. You're the expert. Yeah, expert on shriveled saplings. I love that my clock is just... Oh, it's not a clock. It's a light switch. I see. Hmm. I used to like taking a nap in the middle of the day, but not so much lately. Oh, come on, go up. There we go. Oh, there's my clock. Oh, wait, what? Is there some semblance that tells me what to do with that? Have any insight? I have noticed you tinkering with the clock. Is it giving you any trouble? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to start up Sir Whiskerton again, but nothing seems to work. Sir who? My kitty clock, Sir Whiskerton. Oh, right. Well, it's quite an antique. You might want to give it a gentle nudge to set it going. Yes. But, but where? What time do I put it at? What time is it now? 12.15. That's not right. There we go. What about that? Nope, definitely not. Hmm. What do I set the time to? I keep trying to draw what happens in the dream, but it never comes out as I remember it. <sighs> you used to paint so many marvelous portraits of me. But now you only have passion for these miserable scribbles. Consider this my avant-garde phase. Don't worry, cat. I would never abandon my favorite model. I do hope so. Okay, now, how do I... Give me some help. Probably needs winding up as well. There's usually an opening for a winding key on the back of such contraptions. Thanks for the hint, good sir. Turn over. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I guess... Set it for 12 o'clock. piece of cardboard. Fantastic. That makes sense. Well, there it is. <sighs> I have an inventory. Key to your house. A very real and extremely necessary key. I can't think of a single fake and or symbolic thing about it. Opens the front door of my house. Alright. 
sure. Okay. The front door has been officially unlocked. Look at how open, and not in the slightest bit closed it is. Such is the power of keys. I propose of nothing. I think I have a pair of scissors you can borrow. It's in my miscellaneous box. Thanks. This is great. Let's take that. Be careful, they're quite heavy. Are these really for knitting? Among other things, yes. What she got on the scissors? The sharpest tool in the shed. After all this time, we have finally found it. Should make quick work of the sticky tape covering the door. Fair enough. There, there we go. go. So, so you're, you're really, really going, going through, through with it, then? I guess I, guess I, I am. am. That's, That's right, right like, like, Mallory, Mallory wait. wait! I... I, I wanted, wanted to apologize for being so insistent. insistent. Forget, Forget all this bookish nonsense about, about stories and heroes. heroes. You're, you're right, right, being cautious, cautious of the world behind, behind these walls. It can, it can be beautiful, beautiful true, true, but it, it can, can also be vile and cruel. And filled, and filled with incomprehensible horrors. I would not have urged you to explore the outside unless, unless I knew you could overcome these challenges. But I can't, I can't bear seeing you put yourself in danger because of my childish badgery. Don't, Don't worry, Cap. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing because of you or your badgers. <laughs> I've had a lot of time to consider this. Way, Way more than enough, enough really. really. I think, I think that, that you're right. right. I'm, I'm never, never going to find answers answer sitting at home. home. But there's, there's something, something else, too. Something, something I've got to tell you about. about. My, My dream. dream. I, wasn't I wasn't alone this time. This time. There, was there was another, another dreamer in the Marble Sanctum. Sanctum. And, and we, we looked so alike. I want, I want to find this person in the, wa in the waking, waking world. And tell, tell them they're not alone in this nightmare. A shared dream. Hmm. I've, I've never, never even thought of this possibility. And, and you're certain, certain it wasn't a reflection or something of, so, of the sword. Not, not a twisted, twisted shadow, a fragment of a memory, or a manifestation of your fears and worries given a perceivable form. It's not, not unheard of in the realm of dreams. Maybe. But what, what if there's two of us after all? Cap, what, what if, if there are thousands of us? And we're all helplessly trudging along the same terrifying labyrinth, hoping that one day it will vanish as suddenly as it appeared. I don't know if anything good will come out of searching for this mysterious dreamer. I'm small, I'm tired, and I'm not very good at anything. But if there's a chance that it's not just me anymore, if there's a chance I can help, shouldn't I at least try? Feels like I should. Well, well, Mallory, I, I must say, for someone renouncing the title of a hero, you are motivated by a very noble cause. Cat, don't jinx it. I read books too, you know. Heroes never get to be happy by the end of their stories. Not really. It's always sacrifices for the greater good. This and forever changed by the journey that. Never, Never got, got home just, just in time, time for their favorite TV show, show with these guys. Sorry, Mallory. I, I don't know what came over, over me. Once, once again, I blame my penchant for drama. It's just, just so exciting, is all. Leaving the nest after all these years to make a small difference in the world makes this old feeling feel just a little bit proud. Still have to step over to your side, you know. Doesn't, doesn't count, count if I don't. don't. Well, well, the decision is yours and your are so low, Mallory. Are you, are you ready, ready to leave? Yes. yes. Let's, Let's enter, enter the world. <sighs> Not, Not really. really. But, but I don't want to be more ready, ready than now. So, so here, here we go. go. Off, Off into the bright, bright beautiful world. world. Oh, man. I kind, I kind of assumed that was going to be the end. 
but damn. Oh, that was so, that was so good. good. I, can't I can't wait for the rest of this game, game to come, come out. out. That, that was amazing. amazing. Really, really well, well done. done. I've been you did, did good. good. And I, I can't, can't wait, wait for the rest, rest of it. Well, well guys, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. This is demo is free, so feel free, free to give it a shot. shot. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!